snake and it's a Regina team kill. We we hate to see it. Like as soon as I boot this, we boot this. And someone someone from Regina is going home. Yeah, it's a carpool team kill, but with every Regina team kill comes a Regina W that we will hold. We will hold as sad as it is. Someone is moving up in this ladder, and someone is being sent home, possibly walking. Yeah, possibly walking. Possibly walking. Is, yeah, <laughs> carpool yeah, team kill to mean he will lose his carpool if he wins the game. <laughs> All right, already they're staying in pretty close quarters here. Rilo giving all the stage to Squire, saying, take it if you want. Just threatening with lots of pull up here, Squire. He's gonna use that move that I don't know how it works. Is it just kind of like Bayonetta, where if he's spot dodging or rolling? Or... Yeah, it's okay. like a, it's like a, yeah, the bat thing. That yeah, does. like bat with it. And it's it called Foresight? Down. Foresight? Is that what it's called? Fact checker. Yes, yeah, I'm getting, we got word. Fact I'm getting word that it is <laughs> called Foresight. Yeah, we're just getting a, Message in from the team here that uh, we <laughs> actually do our, know this game. <laughs> we're, just, we're, we're just pretending that we don't know the game. And Nikita kind of threatened, but no. Squire's gonna make it back just fine. The sense are just about as even as they could be. And these guys now neither of them want to approach because neither of them want to lose a lead. The commentators oh, are currently oh. getting swarmed by locusts. There's flies, <laughs> there's flies <laughs> everywhere. Uh -oh. there's, there's a plague that's been sent upon us because of this Regina team kill. We're not the TOs, go over there. Regina acting like Moses and sending plagues on the on the venue today, unfortunately. Yeah, neither That's of them want to. Saskatoon rivalry right it's there. It's the rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they they just want to see our downfall. Yeah, not now. Squires decided he's he's gonna take a lead here and uh, hold four games. Yeah, these guys are playing pretty passive right now. Well, I think they realize that they need to close in just because none of their range moves are kill moves. They all just knock them too far away at this percent. There's no. Yeah. Kills, but you have to move in and really quick for those, for those kills. But yeah, when you're when you're at 130 plus, you don't really have a lead regardless of if you take the first stock or not. Exactly. You do just kind of have to play through those first stocks and, and, if you want to play a game of time like that. Dash attack up tilt is going to take it. Uh, great pressure there from Ryder that made him. Uh, it's fire tremble a little bit and he's going to get that grenade off. Get that grenade like a half set. Yeah. <laughs> now throwing him down, putting Pyro Method to sleep, tucking him in, saying goodnight, and. Uh, now we're getting right into this here. Jacob's chasing. He wants to get some percent as quickly as possible. Myth are so fast, so so many hitboxes they can put out for free, basically. Brandon's dropping these breadcrumbs of grenades and just making Jacob try and jump through to essentially not get hit by him. Trying to figure out where Rilo might be hiding. That was really fun to drop the grenade there. Yeah, definitely. Really He's gonna oh. take some time. Was there a secret C4 drop in there? There was. Yeah. Riley took some time in the air to compose himself. One of his happy plays. And that downer, unfortunately, can kill it so strong. I remember when Fire Mythic came out, that was one of the first things. Oh, back air. Okay. Right. We're getting, getting word from our team. We're getting word from the team back air. that it was actually back air. <laughs> and I wasn't really paying enough attention or familiar uh, with this character. However, we're very much in this as much as we've ever been. And that downside's going to take it. Now they're just kind of trading. Rilo does have a bit of a percent deficit here. But, uh, I mean, with a character who's as heavy as Snake and has the trade ability that Snake does, this is by no means out of any question. Like, this is yeah, 100% There's going to be a lot of mutually assured explosions happening. Yes, mutually assured. Oh, trying to capitalize on that grenade. It doesn't get anything, unfortunately. The platform saves him from taking a massive amount of damage there. And now they're just hopping around trying to threaten as much as possible without using that too many moves. As much as we want to see those grenades, a lot of times Rylo's just getting all his projectiles off stage, just because, you know, trying to have as ambiguous movement as possible. But the land of the platform there, a little bit safer than landing on a shield, unless maybe it is safe, I don't know. Fire Myth, a bit of an enigma to me. He has room to approach here, but he doesn't look like he wants to take it. Rylo's going to sit back and do some Nikitas. This game is pretty close, and it's already been five minutes. Oh, this is so scary. They're both... Yeah, I'm Sorry. realizing that yeah, no, our cameras are wrong. I can't fix that, though. I'll just do it after the game. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, the little roll behind. And then my nice got a dash tag. This is a bad position for Squire. Because with those... That gorgeous up -time. Yeah. That gorgeous time up -time. <laughs> With those... Uh, Pirate Mythic recoveries are not very ambiguous at all. So being able to punish them with up smashes 
really good for Rylo, and not, not too difficult either. <laughs> not a feat of greatness by any means. Oh, that whiff grab could be a lot. Yeah, that shield's gonna be low after, and now he's used his air dodge, and he's going up for his up. Is he gonna be able to land this? Drops the C4 and makes uh, Squire air dodge. Yeah, that's that's right right yeah now he's got that stage positioning. Yeah, so oh, and control. he jumped over the side control. beat. Great stuff from Rylo well there. And yeah, it was definitely a bit of, a bit of camping war there. Very um, understandable. That was a careful. That was a very careful. Yeah. Oh, that's just the the, the yellow. Now they're oh. oh. Whoa. Yeah, it's magic. It really it's is. Rad. Rilo is gonna take game one. He is the higher seed in this bracket. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's out of the question. Honestly, the game was so close game. at this point. It's so yeah. Hard no, to it's uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm either not making any calls. If you're either player, you're completely fine. Maybe a little bit demoralized, but I mean, I'm yeah. certainly not of no question. I don't know. Not demoralized. Squires yeah, reported I, that I he is know, just fine. Like, there was not a lot of momentum in ending that game. It was just mm -hmm. very like. Unfortunately, the, the gentleman's really pick good, crippled yeah. him so much. Yeah. He's like, thank God we're off stadium. Yeah. <laughs> All right, jumping right into game two here. Looks like same characters. Nope, we're going with trainer. Uh, Spires, Spires made the switch. Fifth is off, <laughs> trainer's on. We're getting right into game two and it's on Smash World. Please, <laughs> if it wasn't Smash World, I would've popped off constantly. <laughs> <laughs> if it was town and I didn't notice. Trades are gonna benefit him a little bit less now because you do have the uh, ability to switch to Sard, you know, and, like you have that heaviness. I'm pretty sure Sard is heavier than Snake. I think he definitely is, but having watched actually uh, Squire's play, he uh, often switches to just an item switch. Yeah. He, he very, very Not seldom Zard actually guy. plays Sard. An AMAC. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of damage from Squirtle and then just switching with the Ivy Sword to like kind of capitalize on combos and then get those kills. Very, very rarely does he actually switch to Zard unless he wants to get those good Nair swings just to like zone him out. Yeah, well, yeah, Charles has got those big hitboxes and deceptively quick movements. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're very understandable. Like, Squirtle's such a solid character. Mm -hmm. Ivysaur is a, quite an easy character, so. <laughs> Between the two, you have lots of versatility and lots of moves, so. Yeah. Pokemon Trainer having the most, mm -hmm. probably second most moves in the game or most moves in the game. Kazuya might have more, I don't know. Again, these new, these new yeah, characters, new characters are tripping me up, dude. But, uh, you know, like, put some we'll Mario. Say, we'll say it now, someone in chat can prove us wrong by, you know. Come on, can we put some Marios on the screen? Some Donkey Kongs. Yeah. I know their moves. Jeez. At least these two characters have been in the game for a few years now, so I guess should be able to get these guys in the very least. Yeah, both draw characters. The uh, down throw up to is going to take that first stock for Ryla there. He's got to leave and he make anything of it. With Grenade, it's not too tricky, and he gets a down tilt. He doesn't overextend on the belt. Yeah, that roll is always going to catch it, though, yeah. Squire just that little bit of breathing room just to, like, switch it. Just, like, oh, and he's stuck on Zard right now. Thing. He's very stuck. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there we go. Good time. <laughs> Jacob grabbing him out of the shield just to guarantee yeah. that they were both blow up. Yeah. I don't know if that's a worthwhile train oh, or like oh, for Squirtle, but... Oh, not for Squirtle, yeah. I think maybe he was trying to get the throw armor out in time. Oh, that's yeah. what I would guess. Yeah, yeah, usually that would have been a really good one. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 oh that caused the grenade. Ball. I see, I see. Charging a big up smash, you're gonna give him lots of time to take as much control of the ledge, burn, then this ability that Squire has on ledge. Nikita's coming out, going straight for him, and now he's dropping down. Not gonna play much factor now, though. Dropping at C4, and yeah, see those trades just benefit him so much. Granted, Ivy Star's at a huge percent right now. But yeah, even even at this high, not really out before. Charizard, yeah, I see that now. Good to know, bad dash tank will take it, yeah. He's gonna switch immediately to Squirtle. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Goes for that upgrade. Approved us all wrong. Squire's got some tricks up his sleeve. But yeah, no, I, honestly, if I'm trying to smash up, I mean, Squirtle, Snake, obviously, I'm not super familiar, but it seems like on paper, like, you should be able to get some hits off. It seems like Squirtle should have a lot of combo kill in how many snakes. Oh, but I mean, you have frame one grenade. Exactly. There's so, like, there's so much, like, could they, you know, from each character. I don't know, like, he is the one that wants to approach him. Like, he's only down 14%, but. Yeah. He's hungry. He's, he's got something on his mind, okay? You want to be in the morning, so keep it going. That like grenade did, that did actually hit his shield. Yeah. So there. Oh, and he good. Ooh, is that going to be it? I don't know what that I don't know what just happened. I don't know what happened. He, he uh, side beat as he was coming down. Yeah, I think he misinputted because oh, he was trying to go this way. Oh, exactly. He beat it and then yeah, so he waited out. 
and then he had to see forms to recover. So now, yeah, like he's at a much higher percent now. He's taking bubble and yeah, I'm that's sure it. Wow. I'll take it. Yeah, that's game two goes to Squire. By the skin of his teeth. But yeah, kind of a wonderful final that will let himself get so high on him. That's, that's a great word to describe it. Wonder. Absolutely. Yeah, kind of Rylo's game to win yeah, there and yeah. didn't really capitalize on it at all. Yeah, it could have been, honestly, yeah, it was like 70 30, like very likely in Rylo's favor, and then it just, yeah, that it one quickly, move, that's yeah. all it took. That misinput is bad because not only do you have to put yourself in an edge guard position, you have to take damage that you inflict on yourself. Yeah, potential. just to get, just even survive. Yeah, just and, survive. and maybe you don't even get that then. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's a tough spot to put yourself in. It's definitely unlucky. Well, props to Squire for taking advantage of every single inch he was oh, yeah. given oh, yeah. there and, and saw, uh, really closing out that second out. game. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, now Rylo, I think it's time to put a stage ban. I think we might see the Rylo duck hunt. The Squire Duck Hunt, the Duck Hunt Ditto the that we've been waiting for for years. So this is best of five. Yeah, best of, everything's best of five. Yeah. In this, they uh, can't ban game. stages for this, can they? What? They can't ban stages for this, can they? Like, yes, they can. Okay. Yeah. There's too but many I come, stages. I come from melee, so like, yeah, well, no, best of five. no, totally get you. But, uh, yeah. Those are like five in melee. So like, what the? How long is this? Set? I see like eight now. games of melee over there. In the they're both yeah. they're both camping quite a bit. <laughs> they, both, they both play really defensive characters. Well, they they called it out before they started. They're like, yeah. we're gonna camp. We're gonna camp. Yeah. <laughs> it was just yeah. it's, yeah, it's top yeah, eight. It's top eight. It's Rilo and Squire. It's it's a carpool <laughs> team kill. That's a carpool team kill. We just hate to see. We never want to see that. Neither of them want to see each other lose, so they're, they're drawing it out as yeah, long as they the, can. Squirtle's so quick and just kind of take control of the center stage and make Rylo push in. Honestly, from what we've seen so far, Rylo's pretty comfortable just sitting in the corner and using as many and moves as he can. Oh, not all those explosives. Yeah, exactly. Just getting that stage control. There's a lot of space. Especially Nikita, he's getting pushed forward so much. Yeah, yeah. Nikita, not really the safest projectile, but so far he hasn't got punished anywhere for it. Except when he uses it off stage. Yeah, that's <laughs> Except when he uses it off stage. <laughs> Did end up catching a fat Ivysaur up there in the head. And that was a, so that was another situation where the pummel that needed to be made. Yeah. It's, uh, he's essentially letting himself get grabbed on it. I don't know if it's intentional or not. Yeah, but it's, sure. it's that mutually assured explosion. It just, yeah, like it, it, it resets to neutral in the air, which is a very, like, and they're close together. Like, which, maybe he's hoping for a, a better follow-up off of his... Oh, no, oh, we get through impact. Oh, my yeah. God. That's unfortunate. I'm, that was crazy. But you, it was a great drop there from Rylan. Just sent it straight down to hit him. Put him in a position where he could not recover with another Nikita on the on deck. Oh, oh, that up air just barely gonna catch him. Up air. They've nerfed the size of it, but they can't. Nothing can't take it. There. Can't take that much away. That fair can set him so high up, and Milo says, "I'm actually just perfectly fine." Yeah, yeah, there's very little you can do with that as I can see. So. Yeah, except for when, when, when Snake gets exactly like that. Yeah, when you when Snake gets hit up like that. And out of reach, he's perfectly fine. He'll chill yeah. up there for as long as He'll he wants. He'll start dropping bombs. And he'll take some time, to, you know, recuperate from all the mental trauma that is from this awful set. <laughs> I mean, it's fun to watch, but it's a lot to watch. It's a lot. It's like a movie. Feature length. This is a feature I length set right here. Feature length set. I'll describe it as nothing but. They're both just chucking everything they have yeah. in their pockets at each other. That down smash almost connecting on the neutral get up. Oh, that back here almost hitting. It's good coverage from Rylo, just didn't quite have the timing. Now, he's got him up on the ropes here. They both, neither of them ever want to be on a platform against each other. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a platform is a death sentence right now in this scene. Yeah, even at this percent, like, I'm a little scared of Snake. Snake's heavy, but up there is a strong move. Oh, good. Oh, oh, great catch there. Wow. Cool. Great awareness from Rylo there. Now he's got... Pretty solid lead to hold on yeah. to, you just can't get back aired by Charizard. He's good shield there. Yeah, Jacob's hunting to stay as Charizard to try and probably snake out one of those nares or one of those up airs. Yeah, it's gonna be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's already looking to just get a quick part. kill here so that he's not yeah. just, in the deficit for too long. Yeah. But yeah. now that he's got some advantage going, now I just. Oh, I, we don't even see the switch there. I'm so surprised. Yeah, no, he oh, but he gets the spike, takes it, and then he SDs on the air dodge. We hate to see that. Jacob wanted that kill as but, yeah. Charizard to make sure that there wouldn't be a whole lot of percent deficit. Yeah. That was, Hardly uh, any advantage gained there from. Uh, Rylos. But now he's putting on the pressure, got Squirtle up to 73%. That's dangerous territory that Smash probably would have killed. Yeah, this one we're seeing a lot of heavy hitting oh, he, that would have killed a Squirtle. Oh, it's a change when the Nikita's out. He was that confident that he was quite around it. Good stuff from Squire there. 
There comes the down tilt from clean. Rilo. Now he's got stage. He's putting everything from here to China in the way of Spar getting into that up tilt. He is going to take game three. This is just a slobber knocker of a set. Holy. This is every it. single one could just go. <laughs> it's so close. I'm rubbing my eyes here. Yeah, like yeah, I got a blink. A I got a set. blink for a moment. Get some water, so get some much. food, yeah, yeah. go see my family. Yeah, I'm gonna go order Uber Eats and then it'll be here before this sets over. We're gonna get home for the holidays, guys, come on. <laughs> is there a stat this weekend I really want that overtime pay? <laughs> <laughs> this set might go that long. That's so Rilo. That's such an alpha play. Doesn't matter if you win or lose, he's not coming back with Squire. That's no. exhibiting growth between game one and game three. Right? Yeah, that's called that's, personal growth, yeah. character development. Yeah. And boy, is the set ever developing extremely slowly. But like a like it's like a sitcom. Like a like a wise man once said, "Good things come to those who camp." Uh, uh, what? Also, Zach, we just said, uh, we said it's game five. Game five with Josh and Zach. He's a joker. Can't enter. I'm gonna watch the shit out of this vlog. Yeah. A cameo from Easy there. What a homie. Alright, Rilo hovering Little Mac right now. It's kind of who we all want to oh, see. And he opts to switch to Byleth when it's... So a little inside intel, he actually did talk about how he was thinking of switching over to Byleth today. Um, he was thinking of, like, maining it. I mean, when you're... If you're gonna do it, do it when you have two games under your belt, Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, do it when you need one more. I don't know how much I agree with it, but I don't really disagree with it because I've never seen it. It gives him one game to build up those reads if he has to. If it doesn't work out, like it works out too poorly, then you'll just. And then we go to a game game. five of this extremely long set. Riveting set. Just absolutely beautiful. If anyone's watching at home, don't worry. Violet also has projectiles. (laughs) If you were concerned. (laughs) You paid for your whole seat, and you will be the whole seat. (laughs) Oh, wow, I didn't even see dribbles. Thanks for the raid. That's dope. Thanks, guys. Wow, 16 people. Yeah, much appreciated, guys. Benjitik showing off his Muxedo emotes in the chat. We'd love to see it. This game's off to a surprisingly slow start. What? But these guys... Rilo showing you definitely has some competency with Wild already, defensively and offensively. I mean, we'll have to see where things go from here, but in terms of defense, he seems to be doing just fine. Not Rilo with the zero to death. They're both yeah, at slow start. He took a stop while we weren't even looking. Oh, what? I didn't even see. I was like, they're both at 50, Ben. What are you talking about? I literally didn't see. I didn't see it either. It was too fast. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we flipped over the second night. Got some square chance in the chat. Great so catch quick. all the way out there with that smash. But Violet's recovery, honestly, yeah, probably one of the better ones. In the, like, it's in terms be of a the tether, it's pretty, it's pretty darn good. These guys showing that they do, in fact, oh, the high sending hit of S Smash, that always throws me off. Yeah, the chat's bumping right now, and so are we to this game four. Let's see what uh, these guys can do. Oh, nice. Actually, I was wondering why he kind of, <laughs> why he retreated after landing that up air, but actually, it's a tip of back air there. Rack up that percent. Oh, he's zoning the back air. Yeah, like, Violet has so much space to control with those huge sideways areas. Oh, yeah, getting hit a back over that, that's, you know, not going to be safe in the middle of the stage. I don't know, yeah. But uh, Squire's down a whole stock here. Uh, yeah, it could become a whole stock very quickly. Yeah, I mean, the stock the count stock. is the same, but... Squire's whole objective right now is very likely just going to be cracking as much percent as he can. Yeah, but I mean, like, in these kind of, time. in these more niche situations where you don't have to confirm, you're going to need a back air like that. Yeah, you're going to need a back air. So he's down a whole stock, opting for Squirtle, which makes a lot of sense here. He just kind of, yeah, Squire kind of needs to get something started. More traditional combo character, or character to combo like Pilot could net him some other things, but he's sticking with the Ivysaur, which I kind of respect. He's been putting in a little bit more work. Yeah, he's been doing a lot with Ivysaur, man. 
feel like if you were looking at it on paper, it would make sense to say Squirtle here. Oh, that under stage banner almost just had it. Yeah, wow. I didn't realize the tether also can go into the stage. Yeah, it can it can grab onto the stage. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, so it's really good on Battlefield and FD where you can you have like a nice underbelly to yeah. work with. A little more telegraph when you're working on something like a wall stage of Yoshi's. Okay, these guys are kind of knocking it out here, but the more that they brawl, the, the more hopeless this might seem for Squire. Like, he needs to kill him right now, basically. Squire pushing for those under the stage downers and then flicking with the tether, and it just doesn't. He's still like, it's yeah. gonna find its footing when Rylan already knows what it's Oh, and then the up you had a shield. Up you had a shield. That's what, you, that's what you need right there. Now he's at 75, 90 with Squirtle. This is a little dangerous. It's doable, but it's gonna be tough. Like, what we want here is like some sort of string from Squire, right? And then flip over as quickly as possible. That should so that you're not in that danger zone anymore with Squirtle. Speaking of danger zone, he's in the corner. Chat, there is a, a, an entire ride home at stake here. Yeah, there's. Jacob will not drive Riley home. If, it's uh, not going to happen. And out of respect for our friend Squire, nobody is going to drive Rilo back to Regina. Like, I would be disrespectful just, if we did. Yeah, be disrespectful if we were done at home. Yeah. Okay. These guys are wow. This, this is so this cool. How this is up so fast? Like how? Yeah, like how that happened. So many hits in a row there. Just, just reading defensive trading. options from Rilo. Rilo's Violet, probably one of the his less known secondaries, but it is. Oh my god. It was working for him in the beginning. Ooh. Slowly, Squire is oh climbing god. his way back in that dash attack. Gonna whiff. He's up in the air. Oh, the, the up air. This is so close this now. Is so close. Rilo it's wants it so bad. Jacob's really confused. Yeah, he needs to be switching the modes. Okay. He wants that he wants that dub. He wants he wants the dub. Yeah, oh and that F smash. And we know that's coming there. And that up tilt is gonna take it Rilo as a set 3-1. That was so close, wow. And they hug it out at the end. They hug it out. We love to see it with you, Ryan. Good try, guys.